Hey guys, it's Brad. Saturday morning. Uh, so yesterday I come out here. Uh, I was off work yesterday, so I was able to come out here and do a cut. And uh, because I was expecting rain today, and so uh, as usual, I got it wrong again. But um, yeah, I cut everything down and took some pictures of before and after. And uh, you know what normally happens this time of year? Well, really this time of year, normally I've got a whole complete green yard, but nighttime temperatures are still hurting i think uh the other morning i was out here and it was like 44 degrees and so what happens is during the daytime we're close to 80 and the grass is going hey it's time to wake up and then nighttime comes and it gets down in the 50s and the 40s and this grass is going all oh, time to go to sleep so it's this push and pull every day here for the past few weeks to try to get this right uh, but it's gonna happen and it's just a little late in the year for this to be happening and you know it it, it goes like that sometimes so anyway uh, before looked nice and green did a cut it's still kind of green but you can see where I'm still shaving some of that green off top but it's gonna get there and uh, again half inch cut um, but anyway today what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show you a, another trick that I learned from how to with Doc um, he's got this formula that he used on uh, his Bermuda grass and uh, when I first started watching him it was a homemade deal that he mixed up all this bunch of stuff together and then got it to where it wasn't chunky and was completely liquid and everything and so then uh, he would strain it then put it in the sprayers and it was a long process then he got with uh, the Andersons and they used his formula to um, make this whole like granular product basically and um, all you do is you take a cup full mix it in hot water and uh, it, it just liquefies immediately it dissolves and you've got a nice liquid fertilizer and it has some iron in it and I think it has some humic acid and some other things it's just great but it's topical so what it does it goes straight onto the leaves the leaves soak it up and within hours you can start seeing it green up and today i feel like is a good time to start doing that um, because i'm i'm really uh, kind of anxious to get that nice deep dark green yard um anyway i'll show you the product right here doc super juice really easy to use this bag's not cheap but don't let it fool you this will last you an entire year if you use it correctly um so what i've seen on reviews as people come across this on Amazon there's one review on there the guy says yeah I got this stuff and I put it in my spreader and it, it didn't even cover my whole front yard and it did nothing well that's cuz not using it the way you're supposed to so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use this today and uh, hopefully you can get the results that I got out of it all right guys so I got a lot of product here I've got the super juice mix and I uh, also have liquid iron you can get this on Amazon as well it's not expensive um, got a bunch of spray bottles I've got like five of them here get your measuring cup and uh, also get this dye right here you can get green or blue it doesn't matter the purpose of this is not to color your grass don't put that much in it um, because uh, all you want to use this for is just to make sure that your sprayer is still putting product out because what will happen is these things will get clogged and you got to come in here with a drill bit and pull that little stem out and just kind of clean it out and it's an easy fix but you want to know when it stops spraying, spraying product and if you don't have this in there you're not going to know so uh, you'll just be watering the yard for you know well I guess the water is good but you want to get this product on here too so what you do get a, get a pitcher and fill it with hot water that's the important part hot water the reason why is it just dissolves better and it doesn't matter that it's hot because once you put it in your put your hose on it all that cold water is going to be coming out and mixing in it so it's not like you're putting hot water on your yard so you just get a nice scoop it does not matter how much and pour it in and also got this tool just you know go to paint department Lowe's and uh, get you one to see you know they don't even charge you for it what you do is you just keep mixing until get this 
out of the way. What you do is you keep mixing until you don't feel any granular product anymore. And uh, which it doesn't take long. I mean, in the hot water, it does pretty good. pretty good and also go to Lowe's or Home Depot get a cheap bucket like this I mean it's like I don't know five gallon bucket or something anyway get a strainer you can get these on Amazon and the reason for that is so that no granules get in liquid mix you just pour it in The other thing I want to follow up with this and uh, this is another trick I learned from Doc he just says uh, you know add a little bit more iron to it um, there's iron in the super juice already but uh, what you can do is just mix a little iron and it just really helps green it up I mean you're not gonna hurt your yard by doing it you don't want to do too much but it's not gonna hurt to add a cup full to this shake it up measuring cup this is this is actually uh, yeah this is one cup pour it through the strainer that's all there is to it it's really easy to mix up um, now normally what I do is I've got one of these and it's just a drink dispenser so this makes it easier to fill these fill these up so you could set it on anything just open that right up and fill them up it's easy this is where I normally just put this in first to this it just makes it easier for me I don't really worry about straining this I've never had an issue with it uh, but yeah what I'll do is I'll find a spot out in the yard well, I'm not messing up my garage worse than it already is and uh, yeah I'll just pour all this everything in this five gallon bucket I'll pour it back in here fill up my dispensers and uh, then I'll show you how I spray it on the yard oh yeah another thing I forgot to mention is this um, when you put all this stuff together and you get ready to spray it um, you can make us up one or two gallons or however much you want it doesn't matter and uh, also another thing you can do is uh, during this time of year I'll spray it weekly sometimes and then when as it greens up I'll do like every two weeks um, but yeah as much as you feel like and the cool thing about it is is you can spray it come back out and say three hours and you'll see the difference it'll be greened on green back up to where you want it to be because every time you cut you're cutting off that the greenest part of the grass and then when you uh, come back with super juice three hours later you're back to probably greener than it was so uh, anyway just give me a minute to mix all this up and uh, show you how to spray it something else I forgot to say this right here when you put it uh, in your dispenser just use a drop or two this stuff goes a long way I probably had this one right here it's there's barely any out of it I've probably had this for two years but um, anyway, uh, yeah, just barely a drop in there because you'll have a mess if you use more than that.
All right, so what I was going to show you is that uh, there's a lot of people that say, you know, this this spray fertilizer, the super juice doesn't work. I've seen a lot of videos on this, uh, people trying to debunk Doc Super Juice, and that's fine. You can use uh, Liquid Lawn. I've tried that before, and it did okay. Uh, but in all honesty, uh, and I tried with Liquid Lawn mixing extra iron in it as well, and I did not get the same results I get with Doc Super Juice. And I'm I'm going to show you right here. Um, I've actually had my old neighbor when he lived here. He didn't understand why I did this, but he never noticed this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the the uh, property line here. And I don't know if you can see this real well, but I always overlap a little bit. And so um, I go into his property just barely by a couple inches, but, and he's okay with that, no problem. <laughs> Look at the dark line that separates mine and his yard. And that's the super juice, that's the difference. Now he's fertilized his lawn, but there's this dark stripe in between from where his is a little bit taller so there's more blades to soak up the super juice and this is the first time this year i've put down super juice so this is just left over from last year so uh there is that but just wanted to show you that it, it does work and uh also if i can remember i'm gonna come out here and maybe two or three hours if i see a huge difference and take some pictures and show them to you guys and uh Anyway, other than that, uh, like, subscribe, we'll see you next time.